welcome to Colossus Mathematics class. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like and share this video. Today, I want to show you the shortcuts to solving questions on logarithmic differentiation. So the logarithmic differentiation are differentiation that have more than one function, more than two functions. So if I have a function like y equals w, I mean uvw, the derivative of my uvw will be what? U, uvw multiplied by what? u prime over u, multiplied by v prime over v, multiplied by w prime over what? Over w. So all these things are coming from the concept of ling. You know, this u prime over u is the same thing as ling u. I get what I'm saying. And if I have a function like y equals to u v over w, that will be what? This same thing. But now be u v over w multiplied by u prime over u plus v prime over v minus w prime over w. Now you can ask yourself, why is this one plus? And this one is minus here. Because in indices, division will turn to what? Minus. So that's why this is having minus. All right? So let's go into examples. Let's solve these examples that we have here. So if you look at this first question, we have y equals what? x is power 4, exponential 3x, than what? Than x. Very simple to solve. So your solution will be what? dy dx equals to, you write everything again, x is power 4, exponential 3x, than x multiply by your derivative of this one. If you differentiate this one, you will have 4 x to the power 3 over x to the power 4, right? Plus exponential 3 x. If you differentiate exponential 3 x, you are going to have 3 exponential 3 x over exponential 3 x. Plus, if you differentiate tan, you will have sec square x over tan x. I get what I'm saying now. So this will now become x is power 4 exponential 3x tan x. Open bracket. This one, this will cut everything. It's going to be 4 over x plus this will cancel this. So plus 3 plus sec square x over what? Tan x. So this will be the final answer for our first question. Alright? So let's go to the second example. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video. Alright? So to the second example, we have a question. We have our question to be x squared sine x over what? Cos 2x. So how do you do that? That will be everything again, x squared sine x over cos 2x multiplied by x squared. I mean, differentiate your x squared, you will get what? 2x over x squared. If you differentiate sine, what will you get? You get plus cos x over sine x, all right? This is minus. I got what I'm saying. So this is minus. Because division is turning to minus. If you differentiate cos 2s, it will give you what? Minus 2 sine 2. So let me write that. So this one will give us minus of like a minus 2 sine 2s over cos 2x. Alright, so this one will come s squared sine x over cos 2x, open bracket, this one will cancel this, so that's 2 over x. Now, in mass, cos x over sin x is the same thing as cot x, so this is cot x. Minus times minus will give us a plus, so that will be 2. Sin 2x over cos 2x will give us tan 2x, so this is tan 2x. So this are the way you are going to solve questions like this. So let me give an assignment so you can try that. So let's say you have a question like x raised to the power d sine three x over cos 6x. So you can go ahead and try 
this question, you can leave your answer in the comment section. And if you have any question concerning this topic, feel free to ask in the comment section. So we'll meet in the next class. Thank you very much and do have a great day.